Question 13 asks, how many grams of NaCl is equal to a mole of NaCl? Okay, so first we need to bring up our mole equation, which is number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So to answer this question, we would first need uh, the molar mass of sodium chloride. So the molar mass of sodium chloride is equal to the sum of the atomic masses of sodium and chlorine. So since there is only one atom of each, then we don't need to multiply by any like whole numbers. So on the periodic table, we'll find that the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams per mole, and the molar mass of chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. Adding these values up gives us a molar mass of around 58.44 grams per mole. So the second part of this question is to use the number of moles equation. So how many grams of NaCl is equal to a mole of NaCl? So we know that the number of moles is equal to 1, and we know the molar mass of NaCl is equal to 58.44 grams per mole. So we just have to rearrange the first equation and then solve for the unknown. So mass is equal to N times N, capital M. And then we just plug in our values. And our units for moles will cancel out. And multiplying 1 times any number just gives you the same number. So our answer is just 58.44 grams. So the junior tutor said, to answer this question, we use the formula number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. In definition, the molar mass is the mass of a given chemical element or chemical compound in grams divided by the amount of substance in moles. So, yep, so in grams per mole, one mole of each. So atomic mass of sodium, 22.99, chlorine, 35.45. So they also got 58.44. And their final answer was also 58.44 grams of sodium chloride in one mole. Yep, so this solution is correct.